Hey everyone, welcome to the next video in the uh, distilled water series. I'm going to spray paint this motherboard with some clear coat paint and see if we can waterproof it. Nice and shiny looking. Almost looks like a normal conformal coating. I'm probably going to have to do this in several layers. Okay, the board is dry. The coating is on. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. I made sure to spray inside the PCI and the AGB connectors and around the RAM really good. You can kind of see it on there a little bit. Yeah. It posts. It still turns on. Let's dunk it in some water and see what happens. I have the board balancing right there. The tub is full of a little bit of water. Let's see if it survives. It's working. I wonder if that temperature will go down after a little bit. Oh, that is, that is great. Is it still updating? I wonder if it froze. Yeah. It froze. Well, I think that's pretty amazing. It actually stayed on this time. Now, I wonder if it'll turn back on, though. Let's see. It's not completely full. It's only up to about right there. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Huh. Let's see if it'll turn on. Yeah. We'll post. No post. No. I don't think it likes it. <laughs> I wonder if I pull it back out a little bit. The fact that it actually turns on and stays on in the water at all is pretty amazing though. Hmm. Probably need to make it even thicker. Yeah, I'm gonna let the board dry and see if I can do another two or three coats of the uh, paint on there. See if that works. Okay, I've uh, put a few more layers on and I put them on a lot thicker this time. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I put it real thick around where all these through hole connections are and around these BGA chips and underneath them and around the connections more. I didn't spray as heavily inside of them this time because you know I might want to try to use those someday. I also sprayed the RAM real good. I don't think I'll be able to use those slots anytime soon. Not without thoroughly cleaning them first. <laughs> Let's dunk this thing into water again and see if it's actually you know, somewhat waterproof. I'm sure it's at least moisture proof now, considering how thick it is. Okay, here goes the water dunk. Still updating? Still working. Yep. 
Yeah, I just saw the voltage change. Let's pour some more water in it, see what the happens to the temperatures. I bet you the keyboard will stop working first. The monitor might start freaking out because those aren't really uh, protected. Is it still working? No, it froze. I've got an idea. I bet you it wouldn't take as long to uh, get it dry enough to run. Yeah. I didn't even have to dry it off at all, just kind of shook the board off a little bit and it starts right back up. If you need a motherboard that needs to be protected from moisture, this is seems to work pretty good. But definitely not completely waterproof. Though, although it might save you if you accidentally spill liquid on your... Uh, I'm going to spray paint the RAM some more because I think that's part of the problem. Okay, I put some more clear coat on the RAM and other parts of the motherboard. Let's try this again. I'm going to dunk the ram side in first. Here we go. Okay, the whole board's in. See. I wonder if I could cover that fan up with some water. updating. I see the voltages change a little bit. Amazing. I wonder how much more water I could put in this. Okay, I've got about a gallon of tap water I'm going to pour in it now. See if I can cover that fan up. I think it froze. Yeah, it looks like it froze completely now. It doesn't like the tap water. And now we've turned the fan into a water pump. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, it's kind of a shame it froze. I kind of wanted to see what the temperature of the CPU would have gotten down to. It's not warm. Yeah, definitely didn't like the tap water. Well, I think this is partial success right here in uh, waterproofing your motherboard. I mean, letting this board dry a little bit would probably just power right back on. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. Oh, monitor just turned off. Uh, fan just turned off. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. Hey, check it out. I just pulled the motherboard out and powered it back on and it boots right up. Stunk it back in. Yep. Died again. Almost as soon as I got to the processor and the power supply section.